Well, there is a shake-up coming to the Oscars with the Academy this morning announcing controversial new criteria for nominees. The changes centering on the eligibility of films based on diversity. For more, let's bring in entertainment reporter Sam Rubin live from Hollywood. Sam, was this a surprise decision? Well, you know, the Academy has been pushing this alley for a very long time, including the diversification of the membership, you know, for the longest time. It was very difficult to find anybody in the Academy who wasn't a white person involved with Hollywood over the age of 50. So they've made every effort to diversify the membership. And now they're calling this Project Aperture, which is, if you're a film fan, you know, is the method for opening the lens. And the idea is to open up major motion pictures to more diverse opportunities in front of the camera and behind the camera. Do you and think it's Academy a good move? Department. You know, people are, have mixed feelings about it. On one level, the superficial level, it's a great move. And it's suggesting, look, there's an old boys network here that needs to be broken up. The counter argument is movies are an artistic endeavor and the best pictures are usually the best of our artistic endeavors. And if you're being required to have your movie considered for best picture, Gee, you have to cast this person whose skin has to be a particular hue, or you have to have these particular people who may not have as much experience as other people. I can see the argument both ways. And right now, given this edict, Hollywood is now having that argument. Before, they weren't even having the discussion. Mm -hmm. so, so isn't that, I guess, the, the benefit of this? At least this starts the conversation. Because, I mean, it, it means you have to have diversity if you're nominated for Best Film, but it doesn't apply at this point to Best Actor or Best Actress. Mm -hmm. That's correct. This is just strictly for the best picture. And when you consider Parasite, for example, the winner last year uh, from South Korea, that would have qualified. In fact, the last several movies, uh, Shape of Water, another example, would have actually qualified already under these uh, regulations, as it were. But some are, are, are bristling and saying, hey, look, you know, we're coming along as quickly as we can. Let us, as filmmakers, decide. Don't force us. The Academy is essentially saying, hey, look, we've waited long enough. So who's kicking up a stink? Amongst those, uh, the most vehement, uh, Kirstie Alley, the actress, of course, you remember from Cheers, considers herself a bit of a filmmaker. She says she's been a member for 40 years of the Academy, and this is a perfect example of the Academy leaning so far left, and I'll paraphrase her phrase from Morning Television, so far left they're kicking themselves in the backside. She didn't use the word backside. But she thinks this is all, you know, overly woke, as it were. Some are suggesting, the counter to Kirstie's argument, it's a long time in coming. And these are changes, you know, whether uh, being pushed or jumped or dragged, need to be made. Yeah, isn't it funny, the two sides of that argument, that's PC gone mad and you can, you can see that argument, and the other saying, well, you haven't done it yourself, so we're going to make you. 2024, is that timeline realistic? I think that timeline is realistic. The, the usual uh, movie production timeline from, from sort of idea to completion is about two years' time. So I think essentially what they're saying is not movies that are already sort of on the track, but anything starting now going forward, which is a movie that would be for consideration in 2024. All right, Sam. It's caused plenty of controversy this morning. Good to chat. Likewise. Thank you. I wanted to ask Sam about the, Kardashian, about the Kardashians winding up. I was very sad to hear that. You? Oh, really? Well, yeah, yeah. You were the only one. I call a little Kardashian. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, this is after 14 seasons, the Kardashians are leaving the E-Network and keeping up with the Kardashians. Carl, how many Kardashian sequels have spun off from that one show? Yeah, uh, seven. Twelve. <gasps> so, Five uh, more to catch they, up on! Yeah, <laughs> they, so, some people feel they have pummeled the culture enough. And, uh, it's not, nice. There's nothing left, Do was you know there? the other takeout from that interview? Thank you, Sam, yes, yes. is that when you yes. said to Sam, kick up a stink, he knew exactly what you were talking about. <laughs>